This video is going to be a bit different. I want to take a moment to be a bit self-reflective and also a bit narcissistic. I started making videos for the internet all the way back in October of 2010 when I was 13 years old with a friend from middle school. Since then, 12 years later, I've made or have been a part of at least 150 videos across four different channels, with that number probably being closer to 200 as I deleted a bunch of videos from my second channel many years ago. I kind of regret that to be honest. Perhaps one of the most interesting aspects of my YouTube career is just how little success I've had. Those four channels have had two, 18, 114, and 31 subscribers respectively. This is mostly due to a lack of focus, consistency, and marketing on my part, which is fine and really isn't the focus of this video. If I'm gonna be completely honest, most of the videos in my catalog of 150 are complete shit, but I do think overall, and definitely for the time, they were at least average. I don't think my videos are aggressively bad, maybe cringe at worst, but I do think some of them are good. Really good, in fact. I'm still very proud of many of the videos from my third channel, The Doc Show, and of all of the videos on this channel. But with the improvement of my craft has come very little viewership. I want to focus now on the persistence I've had in making videos. Like I said, I've been very inconsistent, going years between making videos at times, but I always seem to come back to it. And lately, I've been asking myself why. Now, not having success in the digital space is not out of the ordinary, in fact it's probably the default, but I think my complete utter lack of success combined with my persistence does perhaps put me in a bit of a unique scenario. So let's try to answer the question, why do I keep making videos? No one is asking for them. I don't have an audience who is patiently awaiting my next video. In fact, it's entirely possible for an upload to receive zero views. It's happened before. Nowadays I tend to show my videos to my friends, but let's be honest, None of them are counting down the days till my next upload. To be very clear, many of my friends do watch my videos and are very supportive. They mean so much to me and I love them to death. Shout out to any of you guys if you're watching this video right now. But the fact remains that they are watching my videos only because they're my friends. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of them would rather not take the time to watch them at all, especially considering how long some of my video essays are. It's been nearly a year since my last upload on this channel. None of my friends have asked me where my next video is and I don't really expect them to. Liking and watching my videos is not a requirement for my friendship. I'm simply pointing out that they all have lives. If I never uploaded again, I doubt many would notice. So if I don't make my videos for an audience, and I don't make them for my friends, why do I make them? For some people, the answer may be obvious, but since I started asking myself this question, it's been anything other than obvious. Within my first few years, if you would ask me why I made content, I would have said something like, to make it big, or to be famous, like a naive child, because I was one. As I've gotten older, I would say things like, I make videos for fun, and if anyone happens to watch them, that's great too. I'm still somewhere in this camp, but my main issue is this. I spend so many hundreds of hours working on videos that no one will see. And I don't have free time like I used to. At the time of making this video, I'm 24 years old with a career job, a book career in quotation marks to make myself feel better, and it takes a lot of time and energy to do. I have a stable income now, which is great, but my free time is as precious as ever, and I've been wondering if making videos is simply worth it. I think one of the issues I have is I still think of the things I make as somehow separate from me. If you watch any of the videos I make, I speak directly to a non-existent audience and I often say what I'll do next or something like that. I think this line of thinking is something I've carried over from when I was younger and trying to make it. I need to divorce this from any external forces and treat it as what it is, a hobby. There's this weird thing about making videos for the internet. If you ever tell someone you do it and they find out it doesn't get any views, they kind of pity you or they think you're weird. It's happened to me a few different times. I'm not sure why it's treated so differently from other hobbies. If I was a bird watcher, no one would invalidate my hobby simply because I did it alone. I suppose it's because the sort of implicit intent of the hobby is to gain viewership, but at this point in my life, I simply don't have the energy to engage with that on any level at all. I can't tell you how many times I've beat myself up for not uploading, or for not working on a video, or dropping a video idea because I thought no one would watch it, or simply not making a video because I didn't think it would be high enough quality. And that mentality has been slowly poisoning me for a while. Here is my answer to the question. I make videos because I enjoy making videos. I get a sense of accomplishment when I finish a project that I don't get from many other things. I assume it's a similar effect for people who make crafts, for example. But moving forward, I just can't let anything else influence the how or the why I do this. It hasn't worked for me for a long time. So what's next? Well, who the fuck knows? <laughs> I have plans for so many different videos, but at this point, it'll depend on my free time and what I want to make in the moment. No more promises, any video I make could be my last. And that idea almost excites me in a way.